T minus 90 seconds and counting. The Apollo 8 uh, crew standing by, spacecraft commander Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, Bill Anders. We now have a report that the liquid hydrogen tank on the third stage is pressurized. One minute, 15 seconds. All third stage uh, propellants pressurized at this time as we come up on the 60 second mark on a flight to the moon. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 60 seconds and counting. The vehicle now is completely pressurized. We're coming up on a power transfer shortly. T minus 50 seconds and counting. We have the power transfer. We're now on the flight batteries within the launch vehicle. 45 seconds. Final reports coming from Frank Borman at this time. Final uh, look at the switch list aboard the spacecraft. 35 seconds and counting. We'll lead up to an ignition sequence start at 8.9 seconds. This will lead up as we build up the thrust to a liftoff. If all goes well, at zero. We've just passed the 25 second mark in the count. 20 seconds, all aspects. We are still go at this time. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engines are armed. Four, three, two, one, zero. We have commit. We have, we have liftoff. Liftoff is 7.51 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Looks good. We have cleared the tower. Oh, and there's the rumble in our building. It looks good. It looks like a good flight. It's a beautiful takeoff so far. building is shaking under us. Our camera platform is shaking. But what a beautiful flight. Man, perhaps on the way to the moon. It all continues to go well. What a puppeting we're taking. Probably more severe than the men in the spacecraft itself. One minute and fifteen seconds, and we're a little more than half a mile into the sky and about uh, nearly four miles downrange. Now hearing the voice of Paul Haney at Mission Control in Houston. And our great VU cameras are picking up the spacecraft. One minute for 40 seconds. Yeah, All cool. looks great. Cool. Now in 15 seconds, the inboard engine should cut off on that first stage. That's the one inboard engine. Wow. And then six-tenths into the mission, and uh, Frank Borman has confirmed each event as it's been passed to him by Mike Collins at this point. The crew has been given a go for staging. Inboard, out, on time, Frank Borman says. In 25 the more seconds, the other four engines of the first stage should cut out. Two minutes, 25 seconds. Rocket then will be 20 miles high and going 3,000 miles an hour. And there is the we see, staging. Uh, an S1C, the first stage cut off. S2 has ignited, we can confirm. And the thrust looks good. All engines, all sources show the second stage is burning perfectly. Two they had their thing. They had their fingers crossed for that one. It was two of the engines that failed on the second stage in the and second. The, uh, three minutes into the flight, we're 50 miles high and about 10 miles downrange. Three minutes, 25 seconds. We have uh, we have verified that the tower has jettisoned. 
The crew has verified the tower is jettisoned. That's the launch escape tower, which if there had been a disastrous uh, explosion Frank before Norman this would have pulled the spacecraft free. He says the ride now is even smoother. Okay. When the spacecraft, uh, when the uh, launch escape system jettisoned, it pulled away the cover which had uh, covered the uh, command module to protect it from the 1,200 degree heat of this uh, uh, escape Coming from the Earth. Four minutes into the flight, and the communication thus far has been excellent. It's been a little sparse, but it's been quite sharp and clear. They're now a good 500 miles downrange. Altitude and about 20 miles or more downrange. They should be making 5,400 miles now. 200 miles downrange. Yes, I think that's more, more likely. The next important event of the flight is the cutoff of the second stage engines. That comes eight minutes and 40 seconds into the flight, flight or about uh, three Cliff minutes, four Charles minutes from Wood now. Gets an enthusiastic go from both trajectory and booster at four minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. It's been a beautiful takeoff. Everything apparently going uh, sensationally well. Mark, five minutes. The first really dangerous point of this flight uh, has passed. Crew's advisor, trajectory and guidance are looking good, and Frank Borman came back with a very uh, chatty, thank you, Michael. He's talking to Michael Collins, who would be in the center seat today, except for an operation several months ago. Five minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Go to the animation. If anything uh, went to miss now, the spacecraft downrange range spacecraft uh, at this point could separate and come back in a normal uh, re-entry it is building up toward orbital speed now and at this point uh, should be at around through another go on trajectory and guidance, which at this point are the most critical elements. It's six minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Our downrange distance now 400 miles. Our velocity in feet per second, nearly 15,000 feet per second. We've achieved nearly 60% of the velocity required to make orbit. 57% uh, right now. Around 12,000 miles an hour. And our, uh, we're 90 five miles above the Earth. The orbital speed required to orbit the Earth to balance between the centrifugal force of going on out into space and uh, the gravity of Earth is 17,500 miles an hour. That's the speed that uh, they must uh, achieve to go into Earth orbit. Surgeon reports uh, he likes everything he sees. Seven minutes into the flight, so and we're uh, nearing the uh, second stage, nearing the point where we will drop off the second stage and light the third stage. This third stage engine lighting is a Daddy critical Man point. Come at about eight minutes and 40 hot seconds into the flight. It is the third stage that must boost the spacecraft out into the translunar trajectory. Our present velocity is 18,600 feet per second, and we are 100 miles above the Earth, 100 even, 625 if, miles downrange. If there's any doubt uh, when this uh, third stage fires that it is working properly, uh, it could mean that the mission could not go on to the moon. That decision could be made at that point. Coming up on eight minutes, Mark, eight minutes. So they will be watching this third stage firing now in about 30 seconds from now, very, very carefully. The third stage is... 40,400 feet per second, 101.7 miles above the Earth, 734 miles downrange. And third stage engines of J2 develops 230,000 pounds of thrust burns about two and a half minutes to bring the vehicle to orbital speed and altitude. 
And this is the stage that has to reignite later for the translunar injection. Should be time for that staging right now. Victor is advised they look good on the ground for staging. And Borman says, same here. We got S2 cutoff. We got S4B ignition. The Borman confirmed S4B ignition. So the third stage That's has ignited. Good to us at nine minutes into the flight. That's the first step. Now if it develops its full power, uh, they will confirm that the S4B is ready to be shut off. We now uh, have 89% uh, of the velocity required. We're 920 miles downrange. And uh, we're nine minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. This engine will be shut off in another uh, minute and a half, approximately and then to be restarted.